What up, what up, what up? So we're taking this Yamaha Vector, yeah, the Vector LTX GT. We're gonna be taking this bad Larry. We're gonna go hit up some cool spots up in New York with this idiot. We are out riding a lot yesterday, did a fair distance. We rode for a couple hours straight, had a little accident, didn't get it on camera, but just gonna be us two this time. Gonna take it nice and easy, nothing too crazy, but second time snowmobiling, a little bit more comfortable. Very excited, these things are fun, fun, fun. Damn it. to the channel my name is Nick and this is Olsen Auto I don't usually make snowmobile content this is a first or second time for me second snowmobile video in a row and like I said we're on the Yamaha Vector this is Jack's family's uh, snowmobile and so is that one so shout out to Jack he's a G I'm not ready yet bud calm yourself so yeah we're gonna head out taking the uh, vectors now last time I was riding this thing my uh, my microphone kept freezing and I don't doubt that it'll happen again. God, the road to get to the trail sucks to take, to be honest. But we are back out. These things are fun. It's like, I don't know, 12 degrees out. Okay, I'm gonna close the visor. <laughs> gonna be fun. Gonna take it easy, especially after a little accident we had yesterday. That sled, we're probably gonna stop by it. I'll show it to you guys. I just didn't want to record it yesterday. I didn't want to be that guy. Yep, it's about as bumpy as I expected it to be. And as narrow. You know, riding a snowmobile kind of feels like riding a dirt bike with a flat front tire. Oh, cool. We found the sign we're looking for. That wasn't a long ride at all. Like 10 minutes. Ta-da. Yo, that deer faded AF, bruh. Hey, that sounds like your Subaru. You ever seen a moose off ecstasy? <laughs> and that's a guy or a woman, I'm not sure, skiing while holding a piece of pizza. This is how you get it. <sighs> I'm sitting, I'm taking the bumps like a man. Oh, oh my god, oh, <laughs> oh I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna sit, oh. <laughs> little stop at the uh, ski resort, checking it out, walked around inside, now we're heading over to Perkins Clearing, gonna give her the old rip job, there's actually a, uh, in the parking lot of the ski resort, there's a two-door Cherokee XJ manual with the four liter, so that's a super rare Jeep, that thing is pretty sweet, of course, being that it's a Jeep and a Cherokee, she had some rot, but still, the thing was pretty dope. I want one. It's a Perkins clearing. It's basically just a regular old road that they turn into a little snowmobile trail during the winter and they close it off to the general public so it's just snowmobiles on this road. Pretty sweet. And this is the road that the accident was on. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna leave a note. We wanna say it's right around one of these corners. We're getting close to it. It wasn't that far in from this way at least.
I'm pretty sure we're getting pretty close to the sled. I will let you guys know when we find it. We're gonna leave a little note for it because apparently no one can tow this thing out. I mean, obviously, like this isn't a normal road that you can just call AAA for. And it's a snowmobile, so you can't call AAA for a snowmobile. But we're trying to find someone to tow it. We're gonna leave a note that says, hey, if you can tow it, please let us know. Put a phone number down. And uh, hopefully someone can figure this out because we called or we went to the local the old snowmobile power sports dealership and they're like yeah we're three to four weeks out before we can tow you that doesn't make much sense to me i don't know how you can be backlogged on towing but hey i don't own the company so this is the sled not doing too well there's a big hole in the block if you guys can see that i'll try to zoom in there's a lot of oil on the ground came around there throttle or glove got stuck in the throttle and into the ditch over here at like 40, hit that tree. I'll show you guys some of the damage on this. She ain't doing too well, but we left it here overnight. There's really no way to get it out of here. It's, you know, it's kind of stuck here and no one can tow it for some reason. So if you look, that tie rod is a boomerang at this point. And in here, that's all torn and cracked. And then there's a hole in the block, but I can't really get under. Honestly, some JB weld and some ingenuity, and she's good to go. Except for the fact that that ski's straight, and the handlebars aren't. Eh. It's kind of how the Jeep was when I bought it. So now we uh, finished coming back that way after stopping by that sled and leaving a little note. Now we're going to go past it again, going back the other way. And we are going to, um, we're going to stop at a little lookout. Jack says he saw it, said it might be cool for pictures. And you know me taking pictures of random vehicles. That's kind of my thing. So we're going to go check it out and see if we can get some cool pictures of the sleds. And right up here, came straight and hit that tree right there. He's doing all right. Definitely, uh, definitely been better. But he is doing pretty okay. Just at the house resting, so, uh, Really hoping for a fast and speedy recovery for him. It sucks when stuff like that happens, but it just kind of shows that no matter how much experience you have, you know, accidents happen. It doesn't matter if you've been riding snowmobiles since you were negative two. You can still crash, you can still make mistakes. So this is a pretty dope little spot. Some sweet views. Got the two uh, vectors out. Thumbnail. I'm gonna end this video here before my battery dies. We had some fun time, did a little bit of ripping on the snowmobiles. But I'm gonna end this video here. Guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more, like it. Be sure to subscribe with that notification bell on. I really wanna be buying a sled now. Jack, I hate you and you made me wanna get a sled. But man, this is way too fun. Especially when they're crazy fast little three cylinder uh, Yamaha engine. 3 cylinder 1000 cc if you guys like this video be sure to hit a like button comment down below if you guys have ever ridden a snowmobile i know a few of my subscribers have them and they're uh, they're fun i'll be honest it's a lot more fun than i was expecting it to be i mean i knew it'd be fun but man these things are fun so if you guys have ridden one be sure to comment down below again big thank you to jack and his family for letting me ride these things i really do appreciate it man but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one My brothers, one day we gon' make it We just gotta grind for that paycheck Mama told me one day I'll be famous Remember when she used to say she hate this Bad ended with life when I say shit Now I'm inside all them people's playlists So one day I'll be stomping